Hey guys, welcome back to CSGO HQ, my name is Zach, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about what I use for my crosshair, and my sort of tips on aiming and crosshairs in general. Uh, it could be like a 5 minute video, or it could be like a 10 minute video, I don't know, but don't worry, the most important parts are going to come very fast. The first of which is, uh, for aiming, a lot of people say you should play deathmatch, but honestly, I have a video coming out that's more in detail, so make sure to check that out as well. Uh, subscribe and you'll be notified when I make it. But uh, a lot of people say deathmatch is the way to go for like practicing your aim and stuff. And while I think that's true, I also think for a complete new player, you should try arms race a little bit as well. Um, because that'll give you a sort of a a playground to take down I think every single gun in the game so you you can sort of you know do that plus when you're trying to practice with like the pistol and stuff and deathmatch it doesn't really work as opposed to arms race because most of the time if you're on the pistol a couple other people are going to be on the pistol as well so I mean it's still not perfect but I feel like if you're gonna practice really uh, weird uh, what it's called uh, unorthodox guns uh, it's actually better to do it in arms race instead of deathmatch because in deathmatch if you're trying to practice a pistol Everybody else is running around with AKs and ops and stuff and body armor, uh, as opposed to arms race, which is a little bit better in my opinion. It's not exactly 100%, so it's it's still preference, but I actually recommend for new people trying to uh, get their aim down, I recommend arms race, so that's just my uh, thoughts on aiming. Secondly, uh, here let's get into uh, Crash, Crash Z's cross horse, cross horse, crosshair generator. Uh, that's a uh, work Steam Workshop. I think it's one of the most subscribed Steam Workshop things for CS:GO. So if you download this, you can then uh, go in here and do what I'm doing. This is uh, you can uh, do console commands to change your crosshair, uh, but for a new person, I really don't recommend that. Uh, there's websites that make it a lot easier. So if you'd rather do that, just search CS:GO Crosshair Generator on Google, uh, and you'll probably get that. So let's go ahead and buy an AK-47 uh, just for this. It's so as you can see, my crosshair is like a small. Uh, light blue uh, crosshair that's static which means that it does not move at all no matter what happens the only time it moves is when I move my camera it doesn't move when I shoot or anything it's just static so it stays there forever uh, as you can see you can actually go uh, and make a dynamic one there's a dynamic one some pro teams these are all the pros uh, that uh, use these crosshairs um, some people see as you can see uh, use the dynamic one that uh, moves as you shoot and uh, it doesn't move. Some some people uh, have one where that it moves when you jump as well. I think, yeah. See, it it jumps and moves and stuff as well. That's called a dynamic one if you don't know. And uh, finally, I think there's a uh, one that doesn't move when you jump, but that's besides the point. What I like to use is just this one. It's a nice basic one. And uh, for new people, I actually just recommend the default one. Uh, the actually not that one. Hold on. I recommend the classic dynamic. I believe for. Uh, where is it? Crosshair, crosshair. Oh, I guess it's disabled in this. Okay, uh, crosshair color. Yeah, crosshair style. I recommend def uh, classic dynamic for new people, and then classic static uh, is if you want to practice. But as you can see, this is like the default classic dynamic. It's I don't really like it that much, but yeah, I recommend that for some people, for new people especially. And then once you start getting uh, into it, oh, you want to pick your favorite color. I mean, not your favorite color, because my favorite color is blue, but it's not exactly the good, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, I want pick your favorite color as in the color that you like the most, that stands out the most at the same time. Not necessarily your favorite color in real life, but one that uh, some people do good with green. Uh, some people do good with this, which I do good with this. I'm colorblind, so I'm not really going to pronounce each color. Uh, but anyway, some people might do good with this color. Some people might even do good with gray. I mean, it's all it's all up to you. Don't let people pressure you into doing stuff that you don't like. And that's number one thing to getting better at CSGO is, yeah, you got to listen to the good people, but at the same time, don't let them control your life so much that you're worried about every single thing. That's uh, one of the biggest tips I can give to somebody that's starting out in CSGO is only do what you're comfortable you know like if you like the m4a4 better than the m4a1 silence then you go and do the m4a4 i mean eventually i recommend trying the m4a1 silenced but like you know just do whatever makes you comfortable at first and then slowly spread out you don't have to meet the demands of uh good people that's what i see a lot of people on youtube they they sort of like peer pressure everybody and them doing what they like and then in the end you're not performing at 100 percent because you're not doing what's comfortable for you right now and so just do whatever you're comfortable with. If you want to use the, I don't know, if you want to use like the SG instead of the AK uh, for a while, 
then that's good. Although, you know, some bad habits are hard to erase, so I don't want to do bad habits. Like, I recommend not using scoped weapons, uh, mainly because if you want to get to the higher levels, people, it's, it's just sort of like sportsmanship, really. They don't like it when people use uh, this weapon. But, I mean, like I said, if it makes you comfortable, who cares? You know, who cares what other people think? Uh, but then, I recommend the AK, you know? Uh, I actually used to really love the M4, and now I'm starting to like the AK better. As a new player, I actually recommend the M4, or maybe even the FAMAS, if we switch teams here. Uh, hold on. This will be the closing, by the way, don't worry. Uh, I recommend the FAMAS, actually, for new people, because it's actually got a pretty decent stri uh, spray pattern. As you can see, like, you, all you gotta do is just sort of pull down, and you'll, you'll get, like, a very tightly... Uh, even at long range, all you gotta do is just pull down, and you'll see, like, I'm not the best control, see, that's pretty bad, but, like, you know, I recommend this for new players, actually, because you can easily sort of spray people, and it's very, it's very unforgiving, or no, it's very forgiving, excuse me, so, but then I actually recommend the M4, whether it be the unsilent version or the, uh, silenced one, because I really like the, again, the accuracy on these guns are way better than the AK accuracy, although, uh, once you're comfortable enough, I do recommend the AK. It beats all because it just simply has the most damage, you know. It can, uh, the M4 has to do two headshots, uh, to, uh, do it as you can see if we go over here. Alright, so watch. One, two. Then that goes, that guy goes down, right? Uh, but with the AK, it's, it's a different story. It's, it's just, oh, if I can actually hit the guy. It, boom, it's just one, one tap headshot. It's called a one tap. So, that's my thoughts. Uh, once again, choose the crosshair that fits you. You can uh, use this here to do all different types of styles, and it gives you more explanations and stuff than I could probably give you, actually. So, I recommend downloading this map. Uh, once again, it's Crash Z's uh, Crosshair Generator. Number probably, like, number three, at least, on Workshop. So, if you sort by top rate of all time on Steam, you'll probably find it. Uh, but, yes. And, uh, secondly, I just recommend practicing your name in Arms Race and Deathmatch. I believe that's better than just deathmatch, in my opinion. Uh, and I also recommend um, doing stuff in CSGO that makes you feel the most comfortable, and then try to branch out very slowly. Don't do it in one round. Don't do it in one game. Uh, do it very slowly. Maybe like one round in one game, you try the AK for once, or you know, like something like that. I recommend that, especially if you're at a lower level. People aren't 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 going to worry about you doing what you want to do. If you're like in uh, early novas or late to early silver then you can do whatever you want in matchmaking let's just be honest i don't think people are gonna like uh try to make fun of you for it but like at the same time don't purposely just go and do like usps pistol only the whole entire time that's just being that's just being stupid what is that what the fuck is that i have no idea what that is is that a chicken on fire all right i never noticed that but anyway <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one, uh, CSGO related, obviously, is CSGO headquarters, and my name is Zach, and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all those good stuff, it helps me tremendously, and I'll be forever in your debts. Um, also, viewing the video helps most, so thank you for that. I mean, you know, I gotta be respectful to everybody. Thank you for just watching the video. You don't have to do anything. Alright, enough with this long-ass outro. I will be in the next episode, so make sure you subscribe and watch for the next one.